So, uh, this is my blog. Hi everybody, my name is Marquise J. Wright, and um, I would like to ask, how are you doing today? How's your Memorial Weekend? Mine was good. I um, had a family barbecue. There was some eventful moments. My family's pretty funny. And uh, I found out that they watch my vlog, which is pretty cool. So yeah, red, and then there's white, and then there's blue. And then my pants are red, but you can't see them. I'm probably not even wearing pants at all. Actually, I'm in a school, so if I'm not wearing pants, that'll be extremely frowned upon. So today, what we are going to do is list my pet peeves. I'm kind of really unenthusiastic to know, so it's one of those days. So this is actually kind of the perfect day to do my pet peeves. Here are my pet peeves. When people use their religion to be douches. Um, I respect people's right to express what they feel and express their um, beliefs, but when they use that as an excuse to shame people for being who they are or having their own beliefs or just to be purposely rude, then just shut up. Nobody needs to hear that. You are proud of your religion, you're proud of what you believe in, and somebody else is proud of what they believe in, so why don't you just respect that? Vague answers to really straightforward questions. Hey, so what's your favorite color? Uh, you know, it's just, it's, it's just one of those things. Fedoras and the fact that they exist. And I definitely went through a phase when I was like, oh, fedoras are cool, but they're not cool. Moving your head to make yourself sound good. <laughs> I am actually guilty of, use, of being one of those people who used to do that when they're first starting off singing, but now when you look back on it, it's just so awful. Overkilling a joke. I'm gonna go back um, a little bit to my friend Delilah. We were playing freeze tag and she got frozen and she was like, oh look everybody, I am frozen like the movie. And she kept saying it over and over and over again. I love you Delilah, but it was awful. Awkward silences. I think everybody knows the universal way to deal with awkward silences is to like look at your phone and act like you're doing something. When you think somebody is waving at you and you're waving to the person behind you, because then you look like a total idiot. And that has happened to me so many times. Taking like 10 years to reply to a text message. If I text you hi or sup, you don't have to like wait hours and hours and hours and be like, okay. It is the most annoying thing in the world. I just, I can't snap that. I don't know if it's because I don't look good in them. I don't know if it's just because everybody wears them. I hate them. Well, I don't hate them. I guess I have a strong disliking for them. Texting while driving. It's so dumb. You're either going to get yourself killed or hurt or somebody else killed or hurt. It's the most negligent thing to do. And I'm, trying, and I'm not trying to make this like a public service announcement. But seriously, grow up. Getting cut off in mid set When people don't wash their hands. Uh, I've been in the bathroom many of times and people will just walk out after using their TT to pee pee and it's so disgusting. Just wash your hands, it's not that hard. Uh, I'm sorry. It's... <clears throat> when babies or animals don't love me, I think there's always that moment of shame when you like like try to grab a baby's finger or you try to pet an animal and they just like reject you and then you just feel like what do you do with your life? You're just a sad, sad person who just needs to be waterboarded. I, I don't I can stop now. Bugs buzzing in your ear. Spitting when you talk. If you didn't understand me, it's because I'm spitting when I talk. I'm saying spitting when you're talking. Not talking with enough enunciation. When people say that they're forever alone, oh my god, people my age, they'll either have never been in a relationship or have just broken up or something, and they're like, oh my god, I'm forever alone. Shut the F up. I'm sorry. It is so annoying. You, you can't see the future, so you don't know what your forever is. You're in high school, and that kind of limits your pool, so you think that if you're not dating somebody in that pool, then you're gonna be alone forever. But once you leave high school, you can realize that there's a whole world out there. It's just people, and also, you're not alone. There are just people who do feel alone, but there's some people who take for granted all you, and just because you're not in a relationship doesn't mean that you're alone. You still have family, you still have friends, you still have pets, you still have oxygen. You're just lonely. So, if anything, you're forever lonely, and even then, you're not going to be forever lonely. So, shut up. That was my little rant. Plain old rudeness is one of them. Be kind. When the Wi-Fi is locked or weak, either one is just awful. 
the struggles. When people go through my technology, I'll give them my phone or give them my iPod to show them something. They'll just go and start browsing through my pictures or my text messages or something. Maybe I am hiding something, maybe I'm not. Still, don't go to my stuff. When people are just like eating and they're like That's disgusting. Stop. When people just don't flush. That's disgusting. I used to do that when I was four. But then I realized how disgusting I was. So then I grew up. Just press the stupid button and also wash your hands. When you come to the room and the door was originally closed and then you leave it and you just don't close the door. That's the most annoying thing. I want to scream. I'm on this all the time and I think that she does this on purpose. Uh, so, funny story. Uh, the camera died like in mid-sentence. So the quality is going to get crappy as of this point. So adding to my pet peeves, when your battery dies. Hey, so we have a setting change. Um, another one of my pet peeves that really gets on my nerves that I really wanted to add is that we need to set a precedent for men about having sex through consenting means. It makes me mad that we still have to um, clarify because that no means no. Um, in an ideal world, we wouldn't have to worry about being educating men about how rape is wrong. Um, even with this shooting that has happened recently um, in Santa Barbara, and you know, it's a woman's got to give them right to say no, and men should respect that. My rights recommendation is go see X Men. It was so amazing, such an awesome movie. It just was perfection. That is it for this video. So like, subscribe, uh, follow my links down below. That's where my crotch is, and um, yeah, I'll see you next week. Okay, bye. Subscribe.